Operation Nomad is kicking off for this fire danger season. You'll know, of course, that uh, over the last year there were 81 suspicious fires, but 28 that were determined to be deliberately lit and nine arrests. There has already been a bushfire offender management order issued, and South Australia Police are looking at additional orders. With a very hot and dry fire season on the way, any arson poses a very, very significant risk to life and property. Any reckless or negligent act as well will be taken extremely seriously. I'll right hand over to Phil. Thank you. Thanks for that, Minister. Um, yeah, just to reiterate, the, uh, the first the push fire offender monitoring order has been issued and the electronic device fitted to the gentleman. Uh, that enables us to put in place some extra monitoring steps that we'll be using this year. Uh, we have another three applications underway. Uh, we see it as a very good tool to help us and the community stay safe from the threat of bushfires. Uh, as the Minister mentioned, there were a number of um, suspicious and deliberately lit fires last year. We have 75 people that will be actively monitoring this year. Um, our steps around that are to help ensure the community is safe from deliberately lit fires. But also it's important to note that we encourage the community to think very strongly about their activities on days of high fire danger, any outdoor activities, driving motor vehicles through driving paddocks, we're using power tools, stop, uh, check the weather forecast, check the fire uh, ratings for the day and don't become involved in activities that may cause a fire in your area. These are investigated, the prosecutions have occurred through reckless behaviour. Ideally we want people to stop and think and take precautions so that we don't have a bushfire. It is going to be a hot and dry season. We need people to be careful and work with us and the CFS to ensure we have a safe and happy summer season. And over the Chief. This Friday the 15th, the entire state of South Australia will be in declared fire danger season. So now is the time for people to ensure that their property preparation is complete, that their bushfire survival plans are ready, and that they understand the rules and regulations that are in place throughout the fire season. One moment of inattention, one moment of reckless behaviour can create the spark that starts a dangerous fire that threatens communities across our state. And every one of these fires that could otherwise be avoided puts our firefighters, the police, broader emergency services and the whole community at risk. And these are risks that could be avoided if people follow the rules and know what to do to keep people safe. So we're really asking for the public's help. This fire season has potential to be really challenging across our state. It is very dry across South Australia. Rainfall that we would otherwise see in a normal year has not eventuated. And as soon as we get these hot, dry and windy days, like a forecast for this sad day, the risk is there. And so we urge people to take the fire danger season seriously. We urge people to know the rules, to prepare their properties and to stay up to date with the fire danger ratings so they know what to do what level of risk they may face on any given day. Operation Nomad is a key partnership that we have with the police to ensure that we can stamp out reckless behaviour and deliberate behaviour and try to avoid as many of these preventable fires as possible. And Brett, just talking about those fire seasons that's coming up, can you talk us through what we're looking at, what fires are thinking about it? This fire danger season, we are looking at conditions where Across South Australia, we are 100 to 200 millimetres below our average rainfall. That means the landscape is already dry before we even get into summer. So as soon as we have days where it is hot, where it is windy, everything is there for fire to spread rapidly across the landscape. And so I am concerned about the risk that is present this fire season, and I do urge people to take it seriously because we uh, in the emergency services are absolutely taking it seriously. And Saturday is a day that you guys are worried about? That's right. Looking at the, the forecast ahead, Saturday's already been flagged by the Bureau of Meteorology where we will see those hot conditions and we'll likely see some relatively strong north northwesterly winds. That will combine with the dry conditions I just spoke about to create uh, everything there for, uh, for fire risk to be in that extreme range. And so we'll have uh, fire crews, police through Operation Nomad, our aircraft, the whole, uh, the whole suite of tools available and ready to respond should we be required. Um, can I just speak to the Assistant Commissioner? Um, on a day like Saturday, where it is a high risk day, what are police doing to uh, try and monitor people who are concerned? Yep, uh, thank you for the question. There are a couple of things we do. First of all, as I mentioned, there are 75 people that we've determined to be people of interest. 
so there'll be active inquiries with those people we will go knock on doors we will stop and talk to the people their neighbors as to where they may be we'll also have dedicated patrols into the uh, adelaide hills and surrounds to be proactively searching for incidents or issues or people that shouldn't be there uh, issues that may be occurring that uh, perhaps as we've mentioned aren't uh, deliberate but more on the reckless scale and that's use of vehicles power tools etc in those areas and this year we will be deploying our police security officers into these fire danger seasons which is something new for this year uh, with the um, the expansion of the district support section we are using our officers in a dedicated way in the hills to supplement what our police officers would be doing to as a force multiplier if you like and what is your message to these people who deliberately light fires on high risk days? I mean, we've seen in the past just how catastrophic their behaviour can be. Uh, it's a really simple message. Don't. Uh, it is a criminal offence. It's an offence punishable by many years imprisonment. Uh, the maximum for arson is up to life imprisonment. It is a matter we will thoroughly investigate. We will collect all the evidence we possibly can and where it's a, a, uh, the evidence supports it will prosecute to the full extent. We've seen that even beyond release on parole, uh, we have other mechanisms uh, now through the courts to continue to monitor people across the fire danger season. They're the applications we've had one successful, more on the way. We are taking a very proactive uh, approach to help keep the community safe. We just ask people to work with us. Anything that is untoward or out of place, 131444, let us know. We'll task people to assess. Mm -hmm. And just on another issue, there was three young people who were arrested overnight. They broke into someone's house, stole a car and then crashed it. Uh, what can you say about that type of behaviour? Uh, look, it, uh, yes, um, I understand uh, what happened is that one of our patrols came across the vehicle after it had crashed. So great work by our people out and about in the early hours of the morning patrolling uh, for the community. Um, a short uh, foot pursuit uh, occurred. Our people put our, we got our resources there and the three young people were arrested. Um, these people stole the car keys, we were alleging through a house break-in. So all three have been arrested. They have had their police bar refused and they're appearing in the youth court at Elizabeth today. Uh, the first that people knew about it is when the police knocked on the door to tell them their car had been stolen, their house had been broken into. Uh, this type of uh, offending really does cause a lot of concern in the community. You're home and you've been asleep and someone breaks in uh, really serious. We know the court treat it in a, a very serious way as well. So we'll be prosecuting these people to seek um, the right outcome through the criminal justice system. And how concerning is, is this type of behaviour at such a young age? Uh, at, at any age, it's incredibly concerning that people take these steps of uh, breaking into the house while people are there. And that's what the, the law recognises when people are home, it's an aggravated offence, it's a more serious offence. Uh, so most definitely at any age, but particularly such a young age, I, I believe one of the uh, alleged offenders is about to 14 years of age. Um, my concern is what are they doing out in the early hours of the morning without parental supervision or some type of supervision. Um, I, it just beggars belief really, doesn't it, that they're out there doing these types of things. So, really serious offending. Something we can't tolerate, we won't tolerate, but we need the community to work with us as we continue to look at these types of issues and hopefully prevent it in the first place. Anything else you want to add to that? Anyone else?